Okay, this is Hill Street. Um, it's inside um, the circle in Dothan, which just kind of so you'll know, the inside of Dothan is predominantly older homes, unrestricted neighborhoods, uh, working class neighborhoods. Uh, you might find a house that needs a bunch of work next to a house that's just been completely redone. Uh, this happens to be one of those. Um, not that it's been completely redone, but that house right there uh, needs a lot of work. But the one directly across the street over there has been completely redone. Uh, and it's really, really cute. So there is some real upside potential on these houses. Um, but approaching it kind of like I feel like you guys are all, almost from the potential of, hey, I really want to buy a house that, that builds equity for me and my family. Then, um, you know, you have to be careful that you buy houses that, uh, that fit that motif. Um, there's some issues around the chimney up here. I see the um, decking has a, has a, maybe I need to hold that. I can't see my screen, so if I stick my hand in the way, I'm sorry. But it looks like there's a dip in the, in between some of the rafters up there. That's not always something to be concerned with, but um, the roof looks like it's got some wear on it. Um, the steps need to be repaired. Uh, probably to do it right, you're, if you don't have to relay them, which I think you could actually just just have them retucked, probably around twenty five hundred and eight hundred dollars. Um, Looks like at some point in time, some of these brick might have been replaced right in here. It may just be an optical illusion, but, but, um, oop, there's a hole in the yard there. Um, appears to be a brick house. A portion of this has been added on from here forward. So you're going to have separation in brick if no other reason simply because the contraction after that mortar dries, contracts and expands. Uh, an area like that, usually you would want to tooth it in, but looks like that's okay. There is a, a crack that runs along that mortar joint right there. I'd probably just have it tucked whenever I did the, did the, um, the steps. Um, you know, one thing that's become very popular, like that house up the road from is, uh, is painting the brick. It really updates a house. I know some people have an aversion to doing that. Um, they, uh, that's the first time I've seen that done, but they had the, the pipes bent and custom built. So they, like if they came in with a truck with a camper, it wouldn't hit. It's what it looks like. It's a very quiet area. There's a fence that runs down this property line, kind of in the trees and bushes. It looks like almost a pie-shaped property. Um, we'll continue our walk around the outside. There's metal roof here, shingle roof on the on that part of the house, and and it I mean it looks like it's got a little bit of age to it. Now this pitch here, you'd want to inspect it because that's not metal up there. Looks like rolled roofing, and um, if it shingles, that pitch is not not to code. I can't really see it. You can probably see it from Google Earth. If it's rolled roofing, you might be okay, but I can't tell the wear or anything on it. But if it's uh, shingles, you can't go under a 3 on 12 on shingles, uh, or water can back up under the shingles. Um, looks like they've got a two-car garage back here, or a garage door. You can drive around to get to it, but you can't, you can't, there's no driveway to it. Um, this is um, Centricon, which is a termite bait station. There's a lot of water coming off right here. So I would say gutters on this would probably be in order, at least right there in that corner, probably across that whole gable. Um, Yeah, flaking paint. Now, just kind of an FYI, when you 
fix a home like this and resell it, it has to be, uh, you can't have flaking paint for most of your people that are going to be capable of buying. I don't know what's in there. We'll go in there in a minute. Um, looks like we can get in here. There's some rotted wood across the bottom of this. So we'll open this while we're right here. Uh, this is pretty much a brick or dirt floor. It's got some fungus growing in here, and I'm sure it's because it doesn't vent well and it stays shut up. It would be easy to fix and clean. Uh, looks like they built it onto another portable building. And one thing you have to be careful of with portable buildings is they... Um, they um, if you do an FHA or VA loan, which is majority of the kind of loans we see here, they require them to be inspected uh, just like the, the regular house. So it, it is a um, potential to have to do additional repairs, for example, or let's say termites or whatever. Uh, I'm not sure why they got this done the way they do. If it's hinged, oh, it is hinged. So you can open that to get airflow. That's pretty nice. Um, hasn't been maintained to the chain link fence back here. Uh, that has been skirted. The center con's not up to date. Uh, when it looks like that, that means they've not been back to check the base station. So it's probably not up to date. Doesn't mean it probably means it's not under bond. Uh, I'll look and see if I can get keys to get in here. Cracked and pigling paint. Of course, this would have to go away if you were to, uh, put it on the market um, or it would have to be operational uh, yeah this thing needs a roof uh, it's it needs shingles but it's it's I can't really see my hand maybe it's not the way but from here down to here it's it's the roof is twisted some uh, it may not structurally matter but somebody would look at that and freak out a bit about it and they've obviously had some water issues there because it's not flashed properly. Um, it has a package unit, which is this. This is the HVAC heat pump. It's all one unit. Uh, it's not sitting on the pad properly, which is not good. So you would want to extend that pad. And it's, the way they've got it draining, it's draining everything right here behind the house. This house is on a crawl space. So it leads to potential for water going under the home. Doesn't mean it is. I'll, I'll know more when I get inside. Um, it's been added on to at least once, maybe twice. Uh, this is the adjacent house. I don't know if anybody lives in it or not. It looks like they've just replaced the roof and put a door on it not too terribly long ago. So I'll continue to walk around this. There is natural gas to the house. It appears that they've had to retuck that. And I don't know really why they did it the way they did. It's a little, little unusual the way that chimney's been added. It has natural gas, um, which is a good thing. I mean, you can do gas appliances or gas. You can change to a, a hybrid heat pump. Um, don't really see any issues with brick settling or that kind of thing. There is, there is some of this stuff that needs to be retoothed and, and done simply because of the age of the mortar. There's a lot of water coming off right there onto here. That's why that's done what it's done. That needs to be completely against the wall. Uh, that's just a, a moisture trap and a, and a debris trap. And, and water intrudes. It, it will go into mortar. It will go into concrete. It will do all of that. Uh, here's the front porch. I'm not sure where the lockbox is, probably on the side porch, so we'll walk around and look at it. The windows look like they've been replaced. These steps are pretty brittle, so I, I would want that fixed right away. There's your clean out, one of your clean outs for your, for your drain sewage. Um... see if the lockbox is here yeah there's the lockbox all right i've got to uh 
stop this video because I have to use the phone to get in and it won't let me pause it. So we'll go on to the next video.